I've welcomed you back to Portland before, uh, and uh, I just want to ask a follow-up question to that. Since you did spend six years in Portland, it's Burger Week here. Do you have any recommendations? <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness me, this is the first question. Um, i got to be perfectly honest, I'm not, um, not like big on the burger scene here, so <laughs> I have no idea. Don't ask me. Fair enough. Uh, but and, As I was around you guys the other day, like I even felt like I was part of what you guys were doing, just how friendly and how happy you guys seem to be. How easy did that make it, being with such a good group of women? Yeah, honestly, this is, um, I, I, I didn't expect it um, with Leon. Uh, you know, going to a different culture is always uh, challenging. Um, but for me, this was not, it wasn't as challenging as I thought it would be. Um, you know, the girls were so welcoming, the staff was so welcoming. And obviously it helped a little bit that I still understood some French. Um, <laughs> But yeah, the girls are incredible and so professional and you know everything that I want in a team and uh, hopefully that I can impact and help with my personality and, and how I approach the game and, and everything. I think this group, you know, everyone's playing for each other and, and not individually and I think that's what makes a great team and you know, laughing on the side and, and showing your personalities and everything, I think um, you know, that's what helped us win, you know, last year and, and now is pushing us to a new season trying to get four trophies and five because of that SEC. There you go. <laughs> I was hoping you'd throw that in yeah, there. Yeah, of course. Um, so I was afraid to ask this one because you're a very humble person, but you've done a lot of winning in your career. Um, and you've had a lot of individual accolades, you know, the World Cup, now Champions League. You've done a lot of winning. Um, what's left for you to accomplish in your legacy as a soccer player? Um, you know, for me, it's, you, you always celebrate these wins, you always celebrate trophies, um, you know, especially this Champions League trophy. Um, I, I wasn't with Leon for very long, but it's been a goal of mine, you know, ever since I was a little kid to, you know, be a part of that. And, you know, for me, every time that you achieve something, you know, you keep going and you don't, you don't stay content with with where you're at, and that's always been my mentality. Um, I want to become a better player. I want to become the best Lindsay that I can possibly be. I want to win as much as I possibly can and, and help you know my team, whoever I'm playing with, achieve that. And I think now getting a full season with Leon, you know, is different than you know what I last had. So um, I think that is my goal this year to be you know the best player I can be for Leon, and you know leading into the World Cup as well. So that's that. Well said, and last one from me for now. Um, <laughs> a lot of girls in America and France and probably all over the world really look up to you and probably view you as their hero with everything you've done uh, in your career on and off the field. So that said, who is your hero? Oof. Um, it's difficult. Uh, you know, I, I always you know go back to go back to my parents and, and what they've done for me. Um, I think my my mom and dad, what they did for me at 18, letting me go to France, you know, where this all started for me. Um, it's not usual for um, any American um, to go abroad, and obviously I was the first one, so it's a, a huge risk for me and a huge risk for a parent to, you know, let someone bypass a, a college scholarship to go do that. Um, but because they did that, I've gotten the opportunities that I've gotten. Um, now I'm getting the opportunity with Leon as well. Um, you know, being a part of fr the French League before, now, you know, being able to do it again. Uh, it's all because of my parents and, and them allowing me to make a decision for myself. So those two are my heroes and they always will be. Well said. What about this tournament, WICC, excites you about the trajectory and growth of women's football? Oui, c'est un tournoi qui est relevé avec des équipes de très très haut niveau. Pour nous, c'est aussi l'opportunité de changer d'environnement, de venir ici aux états unis une semaine. Ça nous permet à la fois de travailler sur le sportif et sur nos ambitions, sur les objectifs de, de notre saison pour bien la préparer, mais aussi de travailler sur la cohésion et la dynamique de l'équipe. L'INSEE le disait tout à l'heure, je suis quelqu'un qui accorde beaucoup d'importance aux valeurs aux valeurs de mes joueuses, aux valeurs de mon staff et 
on doit gagner des matchs quand on est un club ambitieux comme l'Olympique Lyonnais, mais la manière de gagner les matchs est aussi importante. Donc on doit montrer une belle image et en tout cas sur le terrain, les valeurs qu'on affiche, elles sont importantes. Donc voilà, on est ravis d'être ici, de jouer ces matchs de haut niveau, mais aussi d'être aux états unis parce que pour moi, c'est le pays référence au niveau mondial. Voilà, c'est les états unis la meilleure équipe au monde. Et du coup, on doit s'inspirer aussi de beaucoup de choses qui se font ici. Well said. <laughs> you understood all that? I got that. <laughs> Heard you loud and clear. Good job. Um, so obviously, it is still preseason for you guys, but being able, I guess this could be a question for both of you, but um, being able to match up with an opponent like Chelsea has a lot of benefits for you guys this early in the season. What's something that you think they do well that will help you guys going forward? And what's something you see in their game that makes you confident going into that matchup? You, <laughs> um, you know, I think Chelsea is, you know, obviously come from the WSL and they're a different, a different kind of team than that we normally face. Uh, they bring different threats, you know, with their attacking game, you know, a little bit more direct than maybe we're used to, um, a different style of play than we're used to, and getting this early on in the season, um, you know, I think is is really important for us. You know, we get to play against such a such a great team that again, brings all these different aspects of, of their game and seeing something different for us leading into to the season and to Champions League and, and everything else. So I think that's that's cool for us and you know you have some amazing individuals on that team that you know we have to to lock down and, and be able to play our game through that as well. Oui, d'accord avec l'INSEE. Euh, dire que les trois équipes qui participent à ce tournoi avec nous sont des équipes qu'on n'a pas forcément l'habitude de jouer. En tout cas, Chelsea un petit peu plus, puisque c'est une équipe européenne, mais euh, on ne les a pas jouées la saison dernière. Donc c'est toujours intéressant de s'opposer à ces équipes de, de très très haut niveau. Et ce tournoi doit nous permettre de gagner en confiance aussi, à la fois sur les résultats, sur la manière dont on va jouer. Euh, la confiance qui doit tout au long de la saison nous habiter pour euh, aller chercher nos objectifs et gagner des titres. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lindsay, what's the defining moment of your career? <laughs> oh God, you're asking the hard question. I started with the one about burgers, so I figured they'd get harder as I go. <laughs> <laughs> the defining moment in my career. Um, I don't know if there's a, a single one. Um, I think, you know, I want my career to be long and You know the journey is you know what makes it so special um, so I think me continuing to work hard be myself you know bring what I have and and help impact every team that I'm on um, that's what you know makes me me and you know I want to help in any way possible for my team to win as always so I think that's that's what defines me that defines my career um, to give my all every single day you know, with a smile on my face. I always try to be, you know, positive, um, but hardworking and, and hold a standard for everyone on the field um, and, and bring my level. So I don't think there's, you know, a defining moment, no trophy um, or anything like that. It's going to be a defining moment for me. It's, you know, the journey and, and the hard work that I put in, um, you know, that brings those moments as well. Yeah, you said something before that I want to follow up on. You talked about how you know you were unique and how you bypassed the college scholarship to take that chance. And really, like I see it as you were someone who bet on themselves. Do you have any advice for maybe high school girls in America who are in that same position? Because like you said, it it's such an American thing. You know, mm -hmm. you, you probably could have gone to somewhere like UNC, Stanford, some massive soccer school, but you bet on yourself in a major way. What would your advice? be to maybe a girl who's a junior or senior in high school about that process and how it pays off? Before you start, her advice is to tell the best players from college to come to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, like Sonia said, all the best players from college is going to be on and you're good. No. <laughs> um, but it's true, hey, it's, a, it's an opportunity. I think now we have a, a different route. Um, you know, a different opportunity for these young females um, that wasn't normally there. Um, the advice I would give is, you know, do what is best for you. I don't think it's what's best for everyone to go and play overseas. Um, again, you just have to find what's right. Um, find in your heart what you want to do and, 
you know, where you aspire to be. It doesn't mean one is better than the other. You know, players go to college and they still make the national team. Um, they're still playing professionally. Um, and then there's players like me that, you know, need this. Uh, I needed that. I wanted that. I wanted to play um, in Europe. That was always a goal of mine. And I thought that's where uh, I was going to become, you know, who I am today. So, again, just just do what is best for you. Um, find that, you know, seek the advice that you need um, and the support that you need. Does anyone else have any other comments? I'm, I'm out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you keep going and going. Okay. I have one online. Thank you guys so yeah. much. Thank you. Um, Taylor, if you want to. Yep. Um, so this one's for either of you. Um, sorry, Taylor Vincent, she plays. Forget that sometimes. Um, how do international friendly tournaments like the WICC and the Women's Cup uh, contribute to growing the women's game? Euh, je pense que c'est l'opportunité de montrer que le football féminin a beaucoup progressé. Um, J'ai pu cet été regarder pas mal de matchs entre euh, du coup euh, les matchs dans le continent américain, euh, l'Euro qui s'est disputé aussi en Europe et on voit, euh, j'ai regardé un petit peu l'entraînement aussi de l'équipe mexicaine Monterrey et on voit vraiment que le niveau a augmenté, que les équipes euh, se préparent bien, travaillent bien, les entraîneurs et les staffs aussi travaillent de mieux en mieux. Donc euh, c'est l'opportunité de montrer euh, sur des tournois de ce niveau-là, en tout cas, au monde entier, que le football féminin progresse, avance très vite et que l'évolution est bonne. En tout cas, l'enjeu, c'est d'être bon sur le terrain, mais aussi euh, dans les tribunes. Euh, je sais que l'année dernière, quand on est venu ici, il y avait une très bonne ambiance et les fans de Portland sont exceptionnels par rapport à ça. Donc on avait beaucoup apprécié. Et quand on est une athlète de haut niveau, on a aussi envie de vivre dans des stades euh, voilà, où les ambiances sont bonnes. Donc euh, mieux, meilleur le spectacle sera sur le terrain et meilleure l'ambiance sera dans les tribunes et plus le football féminin sera mis en avant et, et on avancera. Donc c'est bien. Did you want my answer to it? <laughs> uh, no, I, I, I think this is a, a really um, cool tournament that we are actually putting on. Um, you know, having four clubs from, you know, different parts of the world come in and, and be able to play each other and, you know, especially here in America and, and, you know, in the football city here in Portland, like Sonia said, you know, the fans, the, the ambiance, the atmosphere that we have here, being able to see some of the best teams in the world play um, on this stage and, and you know, show a different, you know, league and style in, in their game, um, playing against each other. It's it's so important for the women's game. It's so important for Americans to come and see, you know, Lyon and, and see Chelsea and see Monterey and, and, you know, see a different style, see a different culture and know that the, you can go and watch football everywhere now. And, you know, these are some of the best teams in the world and, and you get to see some of the best players in the world on their respective national teams and, and professional clubs, you know, playing here in, in Portland. And it's one of the coolest things in the world. And I think the more and more we see these play, these players, these teams, whatnot, now you're you're like, oh, I want to go watch the French League. Oh, I want to go watch, you know, the WSL. Um, so it's really interesting. It's really cool. I'm glad that this tournament was created. Obviously, I was playing in Portland last year, and I thought that was a really cool experience. And now, you know, it brings a different experience for me here with with Leon. So really happy that we're putting this on and I hope it continues to grow and, and we continue to do this. Thanks. And then I, I know that on Sunday um, you guys were in Seattle uh, at the rain game. Lindsay, can I ask who you were rooting for? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Um, I, I'm going to respectfully say uh, I was enjoying the game just for football. Um, obviously, we have a, you know, a, a, a sisterhood, you know, you know, it's a sister team with, with OL um, and the rain, and I think it's actually a really cool, um, a really cool thing, so I don't want to, you know, put that down in, by any means, but um, obviously I'm a Thorns player, so uh, uh, I can't say that I, I absolutely love Seattle, but um, <laughs> Anyway, uh, I, I do I do think uh, it is a it's a cool it's a cool thing that Leon and and the Rain are doing and to have you know a sister club and and you know have that aspect in, in the women's game is also growing it so it's 
the best I can answer for you. <laughs> Thanks. And then one last one is, um, you played in the WIC last year uh, with the Thorns, and it's kind of it was basically in the middle of the end of all season. Uh, what are kind of like the differences heading into it now that you're playing with Leon, and that it's more of like a preseason tournament rather than the team is in like the full run? Yeah, it's actually it's interesting being on both ends of it. it obviously, last year you're in midseason. Um, you have very uh, important games in the league, and obviously, you know Portland is is in a difficult place right now because there's so many games coming up. Um, but, you know, it's it's important for them to get, you know, these kind of games as well in, in the middle of their season. And for us, you know, we had a lot of players all over the place with tournaments, with the Euros, with me at qualifying, you know, the, the Copa America, um, what have you. So we have players all over the place and um, in different places coming back and, and returning to get minutes and, and whatnot. So uh, as Sonia said before, it's, you know, it's a great preparation for us in, in preseason. And, you know, teams are all in different places, but still, you know, incredible to get these games uh, in our in our hand. Thank you. Good luck. Thanks. And I think that's all the questions. Thank you both. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Oh.